What's up my reseller friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And most of the time my videos are all about eBay, but today this video is all about Macari. And I have a lot of information for you, but everything that I'm going to be talking about is based off my own experience. So take it for what it is. So I'm going to just start off with doing my Macari shipping because I have four items to ship out today. And that actually is pretty good for me. I normally don't have as much Macari to ship. Now I do have about 500 listings on my Macari store probably more um, but with that said I probably on average get maybe one Macari sale every other day and at one point I was getting multiple Macari sales every day I would say it was really really great in about 2018 2019 um, but once I think 2020 hit for me that's when the downfall started to happen. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in this video and what I think the issue is. And I'm also gonna let you know if I think it's worth it to cross post onto Macari. So we're just gonna start off with the shipping. And so let's see which one do I have first. I sold a lot of books. I will show you one of the books. It is this uh, series called Warriors, which are about these cats. These books have sold for me in the past before, and this sold pretty quickly. It sold probably within a couple of weeks of being listed. This was recently on one of my Thrift With Me videos or one of my hauls. And there was a lot of six of these books, I want to say. Yeah, there was a lot of six, and it was books one through six. So I paid a dollar per book, and it sold on Macari for $26 free shipping. So normally I would put these, oh, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> normally I would put these in a box if I had one that was the right size. But since I didn't have the right size box, I decided that one of these padded mailers were going to work okay. Uh, and so I just put all the books in there. And then I put some cardboard on the edge to give it a little bit of extra support. And I really believe that this is going to be just fine. I've shipped books like this many, many times and have never had an issue with it. Just gonna make sure it's taped up really well because I am reusing this bag. This is not new. So. so yeah, I think that looks pretty secure. This weighs three pounds and four ounces. So I'm just gonna round it up to four pounds. So I ship all my Macari sales using Pirate Ship. I do not use Macari shipping because I feel like they overcharge on shipping. And I don't want to pass that extra charge down to my buyers. However, because my sales have been so slow, I've been kind of rethinking if that's something that I want to continue to do because at one point it was working really well for me, but I'm not entirely sure it's still working. When I shop on Macari just for myself or personal reasons, I noticed that there's not very many free shipping listings on Macari. Most people are charging shipping or at least the things that I'm looking up to buy for myself. So it makes me wonder, should I even be doing it? Because it doesn't seem to be making a difference in my sales. But it's just something that I'm just used to doing. All my listings are already like that and it's been working okay for me. Many people say that the reason why they don't like to offer the free shipping and they want to use the Macari shipping labels is because they're protected if something happens to it. 
But I'm gonna say, I've been selling on Macari for many years now and I've never once had any issues. Better knock on some wood because normally when I say things out loud, I bring it into the universe for some reason. But anyways, uh, yeah, I haven't had any issues. It's just always been something that has just worked well for me. And I have asked my viewers if they want me to do a tutorial on how to use pirate ship. And I did get a lot of responses of people asking me to make that video. So I wanted to make it, especially since I asked everybody if they wanted me to. But the more I looked into it, I realized that it was gonna be really hard for me because there's just so much personal information on pirate ship or at least on my pirate ship account so it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work out well for me to do that but i can quickly explain the way it works and i will tell you this pirate ship is one of the easiest things to use in the world it's so freaking easy you make an account once you make the account, you just put in all your information. Use your address. That way, when they generate these labels for you, they'll already have your address in there as the return address or the ship from address. You can upload your, you can, you can link your eBay account to it. That way, if you get any eBay sales, you can go in there and process your eBay sales through there. Most of the time, I just do all of my eBay labels directly through eBay because I already get that discount from eBay. But every once in a while, it is a little bit cheaper. But for the most part, I just use it for my car. But it's really easy. You just enter all your information. And then once you do that, you just go to ship an item and you can copy paste on um, Macari. When you're on your sales page, it has the buyer's name and their shipping address. And it also has like a little icon underneath that you can click to copy that. So all that I do, I have two windows open. I have Macari open. I have pirate ship open. I copy that address that's on Macari. And then I go on to my other screen. I have it far over here so you guys can't see my buyer's information. Um, typically I have it taking up the whole screen though. But I just come up to my other window and I just paste all of my buyer's information there. I do not type it out myself. Knowing myself, I could make errors. It happens, none of us are perfect. So because I do that, I never make any mistakes on the shipping address for my buyer. It's great and it's super fast. I don't have to type it all out. I just copy paste it onto Pirate Ship. How great is that? How easy. Once I've copy pasted the address on here, uh, it asks like what type of packaging are you using? Are you using an envelope or are you using a box? In this case, I'm using an envelope. So I select envelope. And then from there, it asks for the packing dimensions. That's why I was measuring them a minute ago. You measure those and you put that in. And then it asks for the weight, you put in the weight. And in this circumstance, since I am shipping out books, these qualify to be shipped media mail. And yes, Pirate Ship does support media mail. So I click on a little button that says qualify for media mail. And then they give you like right next to it in small letters, it will remind you which types of items do qualify for it. So right here it says educational materials only, books, music, or film. So I click on that little button letting them know because if you don't click on this button, it's not gonna give you the option to select media mail. And then once I do that, it also asks a couple of other things in here. Do you want to include signature confirmation? If you don't, just leave that little checkbox blank. Do you want to include insurance? Now, remember guys, now that USPS changed their shipping, if you're shipping ground and the item's under $100, you do not need to pay extra for shipping. So I just absolutely love that. So most of the time now, I am leaving that little box blank. I, and I will tell you guys that the insurance on Pirate Ship is cheaper than eBay's. Keep that in mind. And then it asks if you have any hazardous materials in here. I'd never do that. So that's going to be left. You don't have to click it. 
and um, custom forms, you just leave that blank. I don't have to click that. So now that I have entered this, I am just going to go to get rates. With this weighing four pounds, it is going to cost me $6.17 to ship this out media mail. So I'm just, and then it's, it gives you an overview. So it shows media mail as the option, but then you can click down on it and it will tell you, well, if you want to ship this priority mail, this is how much it's going to cost. If you want to ship this FedEx, this is how much it's going to cost. And yes, pirate ship does support FedEx and UPS, but I never deal with FedEx or UPS. So I just don't even think about it, but it's always going to give you your, your best option first, or in most cases it does. Uh, and I already know that media mail is going to be the cheapest off option here. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit buy label. And then another thing that's cool too, if you have a particular address that you ship to often, um, when you go in to create the label, it like saves all the information of like previous um, shipping that you've done in the past. So there's that. So now it gives me a little, a, a little, it's like actually huge. There's a huge little icon right here that says print label. So I'm going to go ahead and print this label right now. This is what's kind of tedious about doing these shippings on Macari. I hate doing each package one by one by one versus eBay. I could do it all in bulk, but it's just how you got to do it. Um, so there's a label and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back onto the pirate ship thing here. And it gives you another little icon where you can just copy that tracking uh, number. So I'm going to hit that little label to copy it. And then I'm going to come back over onto my other screen with my other window that has Macari open. And I'm just going to go here and hit confirm as sent. I'm going to select USPS and I'm just going to paste on over that tracking number. And this is done. So pirate ship is literally that easy to use. And it also has a page that you can go to, to download all of your information that you'll need for your bookkeeping. So, it gives you all the spreadsheets you need and it gives you all these different statistics. It shows you like what states you ship to the most. There's just so much to look at. And it, I, I really think that Pirate Ship really prides themselves into making a very friendly, use, really friendly user website. So I highly recommend using them. I am definitely not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. Uh, but I do know that having this as a part of my reselling business has been spectacular. I even use it when I want to ship things out to friends and family. So when I'm out there sourcing, I often find things for people I know that I want to buy it for them. And I know that I can easily use this pirate ship app to print out labels to ship it to them. So I highly recommend that you use them. They have really great rates. It's super easy to use. Once you go on there and start playing with it and using it, you're going to see for yourself how easy it really is. It's easier than using eBay. So I'm just going to repeat the same process for my other three sales. We've got this Blue's Clues friend. Well, this is Blue's friend. I normally just put these in a, a little plastic bag and then throw them in a poly bag. But because she has these little plastic glasses, I want to put a little bit extra care in this plush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use her super long ears to add a little bit of extra padding around the glasses. And then I'm going to stick it inside of this bag. Take that up. And then again, like I said, she would normally go into a poly bag, but because she's got this extra little part on her that does have plastic, so it is breakable, I am gonna put it in a padded envelope. Give it a little bit of extra security. This only sold for $11 though, free shipping. Again, 99.5% of all of my Mercari listings are all free shipping. 
I just incorporate the cost of shipping into it. So when I cross post over from eBay, I just update the price to include the cost of shipping. So I'm just going through my same process as I did before. This one only weighs 3.5 ounces and it's going to Georgia and I'm shipping from California. All right, so this is going to cost me $4.13. And out of all the platforms that I sell on, eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Macari is the cheapest. So the next item I have to ship is this Target employee shirt. So I haven't had any problems with Target shirts. I sell Target shirts all the time online and they sell really well. Um, this one in particular sold for $16 free shipping. I actually accepted an offer on this one. I think I had it listed for 20. And if I held out, I probably could have gotten closer to the price I was asking. I probably would have sold on eBay, but uh, I was out of town during the time that that offer came through. So I had my eBay store on time away and I really wanted to um, get a couple of extra sales to get that cash flow going. So I did accept the offer on this one. And you know, that is one thing I will say about Macari that I don't like, that you can't turn off offers. So no matter what you list, somebody can send you an offer. And on eBay, when I have new listings up, 75% of all my listings, I do not have best offer turned on when it's first listed because I want to give it a little bit of time to try to get what I think is my fair price because every item that I post on eBay I feel is a fair price so I don't want to try to get less but if it doesn't sell in a couple months then that means that maybe I didn't um, put a good price so that I'll turn on the best offer option so that's typically how I, I, I do it and Macari I believe they only let the buyers send offers that are 20% like they can't send higher than 20% offers and normally when I get an offer it's going to be that 20% <laughs> it's really rare that someone will send me lower than 20% off and you know I post a lot of like really low price items with the free shipping so it's kind of frustrating to me because I feel like it's kind of like, um, I don't know if I can really blame the buyer for trying to get it for as cheap as possible, but just on a personal level, it's kind of um, discouraging and it's kind of annoying when you're getting sent like these low offers. Like I have something listed for $12 free shipping and you're gonna like try to send me like a like an like try to get it for nine dollars and it's just like just buy it for twelve dollars it's a good price it includes free shipping so i find that to be kind of frustrating um because then i have to decline the offer and now that i've declined the offer now the buyer feels discouraged from buying from me because they feel insulted that i declined their offer and it's just I just wish that like for like low price items that you could have that option for buyers to not send you offers. This is going to weigh seven ounces and it is shipping in California. So that's good for me. It's only gonna cost me $3.99 to ship it. See, this whole process of shipping does take up more time than it does shipping on eBay. And if you did uh, choose to use Macari's shipping labels, that is going to be much faster as well. So this is a disadvantage of using your own shipping labels is this whole process just takes a lot longer. I feel like to ship these four items on Macari, it would take about the same time as it would be for me to ship about eight items on eBay. All right, so the next item I have to ship are replacement parts 
So I gotta tell you what it is. So Target has this brand called Our Generation and it's like their version of American Girl doll. So this came from a refrigerator that was the Our Generation refrigerator. I had bought in a few of these Our Generation items at a yard sale, but I discovered that the refrigerator itself wasn't really worth very much because it was expensive to ship. So most of the money that people are willing to pay for it is going into the shipping. So because of that, I decided that I had two options because selling it just wasn't an option for me as it was. So my other two options were just donate the whole thing or remove the parts and sell it, the parts. So I decided to go with selling parts and these are parts to this. It went inside the refrigerator as the shelving. So this, you know, doll part, like parts for doll stuff does actually do good on Macari for me. I've always been able to sell those really good on here. And I think that perhaps these are the type of things that people Google. And I think Macari's website is pretty good at coming up in Google search results. So that's why I think that that stuff does sell good on Macari. Um, this is a really low priced item though. It sold for $9 free shipping. It's telling me right now that I'm only making a profit of $7.34, but I still have to buy this label. So I have changed a lot of things that I do when it comes to cross posting. And one of those changes is that I only cross post items that are a value of $15 plus shipping and more. So I'm very, very selective now on the types of things that I post because I feel like this just really isn't worth my time. Like it's great that I got the sale. I love that I'm helping somebody find replacement parts for their daughter's refrigerator for her dolls. Um, that's awesome. I love all of that that comes along with the whole reselling journey, but this is just a waste of my time. And it's doing this type of stuff just isn't always the best business choices to make. So I have changed that a lot as far as the uh, cross posting goes. So how I'm gonna ship these is I'm just gonna wrap it up in cardboard. And this particular piece of cardboard is slightly thicker than um, the average cardboard. So it has a lot of really good protection on it. And these uh, shelves are really like thick plastic, so I feel like they wouldn't break easily. And then I'm just gonna put it inside one of these um, bubble mailers. This is the same size mailer that I use for shipping Blu-rays and DVDs. All right, let's see what it's gonna cost. This weighs six ounces. And it's going to Texas. It's gonna cost $4.24 to ship. So again, I made $7.34 and $4.24 and $24 is going towards that. So this just really wasn't worth my time to sell this item. But that's a part of this whole journey of reselling. You're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some. And it's okay and that's how you learn. So all I gotta do now is copy paste the tracking into Mercari. And then I'm gonna be done with my Mercari shipping for the day. All right, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk to you a lot more about Mercari. But first I'm gonna go take these packages and I'm gonna go put them out on my porch in case my mail lady gets here, BRB. So I was super excited because when I went out there, I found this big box on my porch and I had a lot an auction for a bunch of Barbie stuff. So I'm super stoked to get some new Barbie inventory. 
and my channel does talk a lot about Barbie so if you are new here and you want to know about Barbie I do have so much content about Sally Barbie so at the end of this video I will show you what's in this box if you want to see so stay tuned for that at the end of the video if you are curious all right and I'm pretty excited about that because I forgot about it so <laughs> I was like what's this huge box oh yeah Barbie <laughs> And I needed some new inventory, so this is great. Let's talk Macari. So my Macari sales have just been really, really low. They were really good at one point, but I just don't know why my sales have been dropping. So the types of things that I list on Macari is a lot of Barbie toys, dolls. I don't really cross post my media on there. Um, some except for books. Um, I don't really cross post like CDs or DVDs. Some of them I do. If I have some really rare like valuable ones that I'll cross post them. Um, I don't always cross post my video games even though I will say that video games do sell good on Macari. Uh, they used to sell better but they do still sell good. I just don't really cross post them because it's just not a part of my routine and they normally sell pretty quickly for me on ebay so i just let them stay there for the most part um, but i do have some of my video games cross posted um what else do i sell lots of stuffed animals clothing for sure and i mean that's about it if you like collectible items lots of disney things and just like really fun pop culture type stuff is what i would say I just been hurting on that platform even with having free shipping i don't know um so i've thought about it i do not have the answer as for why my sales are down um, i don't know if other people are experiencing this as well but if i had to guess some of the reasons it would be as follows I buy a lot on Macari as well and I have just lately not been buying on Macari as well as often. The main reason is that often when I purchase something the buyer ghosts me. I meant to say seller not buyer. Or like cancels the order. It seems like it happens about somewhere between 30 to 50 percent of the time that i buy something on there so that just leads me to believe as a buyer and from a buyer's point of view is that there are a lot of very unserious sellers on macari because it's giving that it's giving that platform a really bad reputation and it's very discouraging to want to buy something from there so i honestly think that that's the main reason why people aren't shopping on Macari as much is because it's just not reliable. And that's the downfall for having a platform that's so easy to use. People have nothing to lose by posting their stuff on Macari. And then if they decide, oh, I don't really want to sell it anymore or I've just forgotten about it and I just don't care, I'm too lazy once they get a sale, then they really don't have anything to lose by not shipping it. They just don't care. So I think that's a really big problem with that platform. So there's that. And something else that I've noticed too is that Macari used to advertise so much. I remember hearing advertisements for Macari everywhere. I rarely hear them anymore. So... I don't know and then i guess just in general all of the other things to keep into consideration that's going on that's causing our ebay sales to go down is you know we've got a huge amazon corporation that we're competing with we've got a lot of people who are more cautious on their spending and i will say that at one point half of all my barbie sales all came from Macari, and today I would say a good five to 10% of my Barbie sales are Mercari. So that's a bit discouraging to say the least. But I do do my bookkeeping every quarter and I go on and I look at 
the money that I am making on Macari, my profits. And those numbers show me that it's still worth it to continue to cross post onto Macari from eBay. So until that number is not looking good for me anymore, I'm going to continue to do it. So I do use Vendu for my cross posting. I know that their competitor is List Perfectly, which I have heard a lot of really good things about, but I've never tried List Perfectly, so I can't tell you which one is better, but I can tell you that Vendu is great. I love it. I mean, nothing's perfect. It does have its little glitches and flaws here and there, but for the most part, I've been nothing but pleased by using them. They've got great customer service. Whenever I have an issue, I jump onto the chat and somebody normally responds within the hour. They're really good at it. They've got great, their customer service is really great. I also follow them on social media. They've got a really great social media um, thing going on with them. They post a lot of like funny memes and stuff about reselling and they're just, they're just a pleasure. I just really like them and their price is really uh, reasonable. I have, however, downgraded my plan. I was originally, I originally had the 250 listings plan, but I did downgrade it because of the fact that my Macari and my Poshmark sales were down. Before, whenever I would list something on eBay, I'd automatically cross post it onto Macari and Poshmark, but because those sales have gone down, I don't do that anymore. I wait to see if it's going to sell on eBay first and I give it about a week or two. And then if it doesn't sell, then I cross post. But by doing that, um, the things that do sell right away on eBay, I don't have to worry about cross posting it. So I have downgraded my account for that. And then like I said too, I am not cross posting low price items anymore because they're just, it's just a headache. Look at how much more time it takes for me to ship on Macari. And I just don't want to deal with that with small items anymore. Um, it's just me trying to think of ways to make my business better. But do I think that you should cross post? Yeah, I think you should try it. I think that everybody should try everything. <laughs> like I love that song from Zootopia, that Disney song that Shakira sings, Try Everything. Cause it's so true and i used to listen to that song like over and over again like when i was first learning about reselling um, because there was just so much trial and error going on at that time of you know being new at it and i would get discouraged on my low days and i would listen to that song to encourage me to remind me try everything when birds are learning to fly they fall but then they get up and they learn, they learn how to fly. So I just recommend to you, try everything. That's how you're gonna learn what's best for your reselling business. Maybe cross posting isn't for you, but you're not gonna know until you try. Give it a try. Um, I know people who make a living off selling just on Macari. That's not me, but I also put most of my eggs in my eBay basket. That's where most of my attention goes. I'm sure if I was more of a Macari type person, I would put more energy into sending more offers, promoting things, delisting, relisting, focusing on those listings, but I don't. eBay is the main thing I focus on. So that could have a huge reason why my Macari sales are low. I don't give that platform as much attention as maybe other people do. But I will say some of the cons of cross posting is that even, even if you have something like Vindu or List Perfectly, you still have to put in that work to cross post them and to delist them when they sell. And it definitely takes up more of your time, no matter how you're doing it. If you're cross posting, you're giving some of your, your reselling attention to these other platforms. So, it definitely isn't like one of those things, oh, I just, I use Vindu, so it's just fine, it's easy, cross post it. Yeah, it makes it easier, much easier. I would not list on Macari and Poshmark if I did not have Vindu or if I didn't have a cross posting um, apt to use. I just wouldn't, it's, it would just be way too much work. So, but it still does 
require some work and it does require some attention and it does require some money. It costs money to use these accounts. They're not free. So if you are interested in using Vindu, I do have a referral link in my description. I don't know if you guys notice, I keep scratching my arms. I think I just got like two little bow bites being out here in my garage right now. Dang it. Anyways, I think that was pretty much everything I had on my list to talk to you about. I hope you found this video useful at all in any way. If you did, please like and subscribe. I've got so much content about reselling. I have some thrift with me, lots of ship with me. I talk about Barbie a lot. Uh, I'm all about selling fun items and I think I have a lot of really great information out there for everybody. And I am trying really hard to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So really help me if you can um, subscribe, recommend me to your friends to subscribe, like the video, comment on the video. All those things really help me to make my goal. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Never forget when you thrift upon a star, all your dreams will come true. See you next time. So excited to say what's in this box. All right. Guys, I just have to say how freaking funny this is. So somebody got a Belle doll and put her in the Harry Potter outfit. But the girl who plays Belle in the remake is the girl from Harry Potter. What was her name again? Something Emma? How funny. This was actually pretty clever. I'm probably going to remove. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can sell it this way. I'm going to think about it. Either that or I'm just going to remove the outfit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is not Mattel. Some of these vintage uh, generic Barbies do good. But I have no idea on this one. I have to check. And it's just a whole bunch of just random dolls. I love this. Can I keep one? Belle and Cinderella? See, there's vintage. Oh, vintage and modern mixed in here. There's some Madame Alexander dolls in here. See, this is like a Y2K era doll. Oh, this little fella over here. This is going to be worth something. Not oh, one of the holiday Barbies. Ooh, I'm actually glad that I have her because I'm planning on making a video about the holiday Barbies coming up. So I can use her as like a prop for that. Oh, she's cute. I only paid $40. Oh, it's a vintage skipper, guys. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. I only paid $45 for the whole thing and that included shipping. Ballerina in here. Is that Milan? Milan as a ballerina? Hmm. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's going straight into the trash.